America is it. So take a deep breath of freedom and let's keep America great. But in the name of keeping America great, our first guest knows all about this. Let's bring in Eric Trump. Eric, how you doing, boss? I'm doing well, Carl. You know, I have to say, it was a beautiful quote that you used, the Ronald Reagan quote. I actually happened to use that. You might remember this in my RNC speech, and it's, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's spot on, Carl. I mean, they'll do anything in this country, and, and you see it every single day, and you report on it. You do a better job than anybody reporting on it, but they want to get rid of our Pledge of Allegiance. They want to get rid of our national anthem. They want to get rid of, you know, um, under God. Yeah. Um, you know, frankly, you mentioned the fireworks. I'm glad you did. I mean, remember... Last year at Mount Rushmore um, on 4th of July, I was there with my father um, and the great governor of that great state, Christy Nome, and we had the greatest fireworks celebration above Mount Rushmore with literally, you know, B2s, B1, B2s flying overhead. And I mean, it was incredible. I mean, there was no more patriotic day. And then guess what? Biden and the Democrats this year, you know what they do? They cancel the fireworks over Mount Rushmore. No better, you know, more iconic symbol of, of America than that, and they cancel the fireworks. I mean, there is a war on this country. There is a war on this flag, and it's, um, it, it's quite frankly, it's one of the reasons my father ran to become commander-in-chief. It's one of the reasons, frankly, he won. People are sick and tired of the nonsense, and those college students, Carl, it, it, you know, they make you just shake your head. I mean, I, I can't wait till at one point in their lives they actually travel overseas, hopefully to some of the places you've, you've been and that you've served in and actually realize how incredible this country is because make no mistake about it, and I've seen a lot of corners of this, this world, we live in the greatest country on earth, hands down, bar none, it's not even close. And, and you know that as, uh, as well as anybody as a person who, who fought over there to uh, defend all the things that we uh, hold true as Americans. Right, well that's the thing is all these people, they're like, oh my God, America is so terrible and I can't stand it, we're oppressive. I'm like, okay, then there's the door. They just, they'll never take that ticket. Uh, but you know, I wanna talk about this uh, keeping America great. It, your dad's been out of office for like six months now and he's still garnering these massive crowds, which is like, when, he, when he's back totally. on stage, I'm just like, thank, thank God he's back. But we saw this Save America rally past Saturday. You know, it carried, we carried the full thing right here on Newsmax. Tell us how it went, tell us about the energy, and what are you seeing now that he's back in the game? Well, it's unbelievable. I, mean, I spent the entire day with him. In fact, I, I literally left him to come, uh, to come see you, Carl, you know, two minutes ago. But everywhere he is, he does. I mean, you know, 35, 45,000 people are coming out. Literally in this country, you have no voice piece anymore for 75, 80 million Americans who are out there, right? Because you have the media, which is effectively the lobbyist, you know, aside from you guys and, you know, very few select others, but they're effectively the lobbying arm of the Democratic Party. And, you know, you have the Democrats themselves and, um, you know, the, the narratives that they push all day long. And so there's this vacuum in this country right now. There's this vacuum for 75, 80 million people, those people that we were talking about a second ago who love the flag and love the United States military and love what this country stands for and loves the fundamental principles of, of, of freedom and Fourth of July and those fireworks. And, they literally have no one, and, and so it's actually causing them to flock to my father like even never before. I mean, my father's yeah. always had an incredible following. He's created a movement never before seen in politics, but honestly, Carl, I mean it, and I saw it, I saw it a couple minutes ago. I mean, the amount of people who are there clapping alongside the road, and we're in a pretty liberal spot in New York, and I, I, I'm telling you, the support is unbelievable right now. It, it's it's absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, but it's also the contrast too. You went from the the message of "Make America Great Again" to well, I don't I don't know whatever Biden's mumbling these days. But it, 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 the contrast is so stark, and to see him back on the campaign trail, is getting sure. a lot of people involved. But it also seems like you know they're doing everything. Like the, the left, just I, I don't know what it is, but they, they're they're going out of their way to paint this as some horrible, sexist, istophobic, phobophobic, oppressive country. You know. This Cory Bush, I, we we just talked about it. She's an elected member of Congress tweeted, you know, tweeted this yesterday. When I say the Fourth of July is about American freedom, remember this: the freedom they're referring to is for white people. This land is stolen land, and black people still aren't free. What do you make about something like that? Well, it's an ironic quote, especially coming from her, given that she's one of the most powerful people in the United States government. I mean, she's she's a Congresswoman. I mean, you know, she's doing awfully well, right? I mean, and 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 it's. It, it, it's really actually kind of baffling, but Carl, a lot of times I actually think they use this to distract from their horrible policies. I mean, you mentioned Biden a second ago, yeah. but you know, look what's happening. Look at energy prices in this country. Look at inflation in this country. Look at you know the total the total lack of respect um, you know toward this country mm -hmm. by all of our adversaries. Look at the way China treats him, and look at the way Russia treats him, or look at the way the rest of the world treats this guy. I mean. 
energy prices are going crazy. Our, 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 our military is not, right? I mean, they're putting handcuffs on the military. There's no one who can speak better to that mm -hmm. uh, than you. His policies are, are disastrous. I mean, you go into yeah. Home Depot to buy a two by four right now, and it's you know twelve bucks, whereas under my father it was you know two ninety nine, right? I mean, that's what's happening in in this country. His policies aren't working. Then you go down to the southern border and you look at the disaster on the southern border, and then you look at the fact that he literally can't get out a sentence without you know fumbling. A flash and card or you have something. a lot of people. You 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 you, 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 have, you have a you have people who were kind of you know fifty fifty in the last election that might have pulled the handle toward him. Um, and they're regretting their decision right now because they're, you know, you might not have liked a mean tweet or what you perceived as a mean tweet, but there's one thing you can't say about Trump. He was a very honest president. There's no one who was a greater cheerleader for the United States of America than him. I mean, he would go out in this beautiful red hat that said USA on it. I mean, where is that patriotism with Biden? Where is that patriotism with Kamala? I mean, in fact, it's the exact opposite. Yep. He was a great cheerleader for this country. He was a great fighter for this country. And and frankly, his policies were awesome. And his policies led to tremendous prosperity for um, our great nation. And um, and you're seeing the exact opposite. I mean, what, it's been five months now? Yeah. Look what this guy's done. Look, look at the way this guy has unraveled this country in right. such a short period of time. And uh, and I, I think it's actually going to uh, position my father really, um, you know, really nicely for, uh, for 2024 if he decides to run. And I actually think, uh, you know, 2022 in terms of Congress is going to be just a landslide because people get it. I mean, people people truly get it. <laughs> it the, the Democrats are like the gift that keeps on giving. We just let them talk, and this is what they do. So hopefully hopefully people will get it. Uh, Eric, you know, I, 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 I thank you so much for taking the time to come on tonight. But real quick, i got about 20 seconds left. What, what, what is the thing you would say to that person who's 50-50 on the fence? <sighs> Listen, you want a person who loves this nation. You want a person who cares about this nation. You want a person who's never been in government before and a person who doesn't need the job. My father doesn't need this job. He did it because he saw a country that was going down the tube and it's happening again right mm -hmm. now. That's why he he put everything aside. And, everything. And Carl, you see the way they attack us. Yeah. You see the way they attack us and they come after us and they weaponize politics and you see what they try and do. But my father yeah. loves this nation. We as a family love this nation. We'll never stop fighting for the greatest country in the world, and for, which is the United that, States of America. Yeah, for that, we are eternally thankful. Thank you very much, Eric Trump. Appreciate you coming on. Thanks a lot, Carl. All right. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.